Hello, hello. Welcome to the VickyCharles.com podcast, episode number 39. My name, unsurprisingly, is Vicky Charles. The show notes for this and all previous podcasts can be found at VickyCharles.com forward slash podcast. And this week, episode number 39 is 10 Facebook post ideas. So let's get on with it. So welcome to episode number 39 of the vickycharles.com podcast. This week I'm giving you 10 Facebook post ideas with the idea of helping you to just kickstart your page and your engagement there if you're struggling a little bit. And also to just, I think everybody can do with a bit of inspiration from time to time, can't they? So here are 10 ideas to help you along the way. Idea number one, tell a story. And I don't mean, uh, you know like that bit in the Goonies where the Fratellis go to go to Chunk, like, tell me everything, and he starts off on like his entire life story in the bit of while where he goes to the movie theatre and mixes up a, is it a bucket of fake stick or something? That's not what I mean, unless you've done something like that, in which case, why are you not sharing that with the world? But, you know, things like um, something you overheard on the bus yesterday, something funny your kid said to you. Um, if you saw something on your way to school or nursery or to work um, or you know something as simple as I was talking to my sister about that that most hilarious part in Only Fools and Horses and it was then that I discovered I failed as a sister and she's never even heard of Only Fools and Horses that one's a true story ladies and gentlemen my sister has never heard of Only Fools and Horses and I have failed as a sister but yeah you get the idea tell a story um, you know make it personal people like to see a personal insight into your life really so Facebook post idea number two is to post about national days or international days or things that are going on like that. So a um, website that is good for that is daysoftheyear.com, but there are plenty of others around. Um, there are always, it's always national something month or national something week or international day of the blah, blah, blah. Um, so for example, November is Diabetes Awareness Month. D- November the 14th was world diabetes day i think they called it or something similar it was diabetes day basically so i had a guest post from my friend who's diabetic and i shared it in at the beginning of november and also on the 14th with today's national diabetes day here's a guest post from my friend who has diabetes um you can link it to old blog posts for example you can do um mincemeat day which was earlier in november i said oh it's mincemeat day today the day everybody makes their mincemeat here's a recipe i posted about mincemeat But you don't have to include a a link to your blog. In fact, often it's better if you don't post a link to your blog because just a text update or a picture is going to get more engagement. So things like um, if it's, you know, National Cat Day, uh, here's a picture of a cat or here's a picture of a dog because I don't like cats, ha, ha, ha. You know, something something like that. You just kind of, oh, look, it's National Whatever Day. And if you do that quite often, people kind of um, will get used to coming to you to find out if there's a national day they should be aware of or that they can kind of share with their friends or something same as like things like on this day in history things that happened on this day in whatever year things like that are really good um and and people really will respond to that well i find that they do on my page anyway the third option is super simple just use the trending topics on facebook so when you're logged into facebook and you go to your home screen on the right hand side there they have trending topics things that people are talking and posting about on facebook at the moment Um, Now, because of the nature of Facebook, this is not going to be highbrow content. Hardly ever do you find anything relating to what's going on on the front page of the broadsheets or even the middle pages of the broadsheets. What you find is celebrity wears swimming costume shocker or member of One Direction posts selfie or something like that. And it is fairly fluffy and vacuous, but this is what people are posting on Facebook. Um, and one thing that I learned a while ago is just because you see it either there or on your news feed and it's been shared 50 times already or it's been liked a thousand times, that doesn't mean that everybody that follows your page is going to have seen it because there are billions of people on Facebook. So um, even I've had success recently with I've seen the same picture three times on my news feed from various different people and I've shared it on my page and it's still got massive engagement either because people who shared it or, re- or had already seen it still like it or because they'd never seen it before I don't really care which is which um, the fact is that people have seen it and they've liked what they've seen so um, using the trending topics thing is just basically a really easy way of finding content that you can share with people that you know that a lot of people on Facebook are already engaging with they already like it's already popular it's kind of a a quick win really mostly a guaranteed win that you know that other people are going to like that idea number four for Facebook post ideas 
is to ask for advice so i do this all the time and i don't just do it just to get engagement i do it because genuinely my the people that follow me on facebook are the ones that make most of my decisions for me what do i do about this how do i fix that do you know what to do about this what would you do if this happened i need to do this um things like you know designing your website but also you know which shoes go best with this dress does my hair look okay i've just cut it myself i do that all the time whenever i've cut my hair or you know are my roots showing too badly do you think i can get away with wearing this um do you think my kid looks silly in this outfit she's put together do you think i should go here do you think i should do that one that i had the other day was if you ordered something from ebay and it turned up with a hole in it what would you do um and you're going to get you know realistically i kind of know what to do but it I never am sure what the correct protocol is because in that instance my first response would be leave a really scathing negative feedback on the person's eBay and never kind of darken their door again but realistically there is a process apparently for things that have been bought from eBay that don't look like they should so kind of things like that you always get I mean you're always going to get somebody that is going to get like feed you a complete line of rubbish and it's up to you whether you believe it but it's about getting the conversation going so what would you do in this instance why which do you prefer of these or um one example I used in a previous podcast was that I had a jar, a half used jar of pesto in the fridge and I didn't want to do with it, didn't know what to do with it and I asked people what to do um, and I got loads and loads of responses and somebody a friend said to me afterwards oh I I commented on that pesto post I feel a bit kind of manipulated and it's like well no not really because I genuinely did have a half used jar of pesto in the fridge and I genuinely didn't know what to do with it so you're not kind of trying to manipulate your audience to get a response from them what you're doing is asking for advice but you're in doing so you're kind of engaging your audience and you're making them feel like you care what they think and that they're useful to you and that you're not just there going read my content buy my shit read my content buy my shit all the time you're kind of asking them for advice as well making it more of a two-way street option number five for facebook post ideas is to post a selfie now don't do this all day every day if people do do that especially people that are selling makeup or selling you know skincare hair care those bloody wrap things people post those all the time they post a selfie look how how much my wrinkles have reduced since i used this cream that is not after the first seven people aren't interested anymore but if you very rarely post a selfie and you do it maybe even just once a week oh look at my new shirt i'm i'm i put if i'm going i do some training sometimes through a local company and if i am working through them and i'm wearing their uniform i always take a picture of myself in it a to say look at me i've got a job or look at me I'm doing some work for once but also to be kind of to show them off but also I just love the color of the shirt and I think it looks pretty good on me so I like to show off when I think I look okay in it and usually if I'm going out to do some work like that I've probably put some makeup on or at the very least brushed my hair so it's kind of it's like look I look okay yay um obviously I turn my face so that you can't see all the spots and everything and the big bags under my eyes but you know things like that people people don't want to see a perfect picture of you that has been photoshopped or instagrammed within so you can't even tell where your nose begins and ends and things like that people aren't interested in that because you make them feel inadequate and if you post a picture of yourself looking normal people are gonna be like oh she's normal just like me so kind of go for that obviously not completely haggard ugly shots every single day because nobody wants to see that but you know there's a fine line there find it for yourself idea number six for facebook post ideas is to post an inspirational quote so I've been doing this a fair bit recently on Single Mother or Whore, you might have noticed. I'm doing a bit of a Facebook experiment at the moment, and I will be doing a podcast about that in the coming weeks. But I have been posting um, a lot of inspirational quotes. A, because they inspire me, and when I see them on my timeline later, it inspires me. But also, I hope that it kind of inspires other people and they like them. Um, Photos and pictures like that account for 93% of the most engaging posts on Facebook. So it's worth doing. It's worth hunting them down what i tend to do you go through your home page so not on your personal home page because that's going to show you all of your friends and only the only occasional um page post and it's often the pages that post the inspirational quotes and the pictures and everything so i tend to go um log into facebook as my page and go to the home page for that one now you can do that and you can use your home page to like other pages and the way that i find pages to like is that I go to one page that I like and I see what page is that page. This has turned into one of those weird things that you say, isn't it? Like that page, this page, Peter Piper and all that rubbish. But yeah, so log in as your page, go to your home page, find a um, a page that posts a lot of the kind of content you're after, see which pages they like, go through and like those pages as well and so on and so forth. So you've got like a good lot of content there. You can share 
um, the things that they've said. A good tip is if you want to share something, if you're going through your homepage now and you've got um, you've only got 20 minutes and you don't want to post everything in the next 20 minutes and you find something you really like, if you click on the time that it was posted, so it will say, you know, blah, 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 two hours ago or three hours ago or something like that. If you post on that, I think it's grey right underneath of the person's name. Um, that will bring you up um, that pa that post on its own on a page and you can copy the link from the address bar and you can post that and schedule it for later. You can't share a click share and then schedule for later, that doesn't work, but you can share it through the link. Or you can download the picture and upload it to schedule for later, which is also a handy way of doing things. Idea number seven for Facebook post ideas is to post internet memes but to have them um, personalised to yourself so you can go to websites I'll post a link in the show notes you can go to a website and um, pick up one of those pictures that is, is used for memes quite a lot so um, the the famous Sean Bean winter is coming one or you know the famous pictures that everybody sees so the pictures of um, the guy from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or Sean Bean or that little girl that's running around I think the biggest one's meme generator uh, you can go to those sites and you can create your own meme and that works really well. So so I've got a friend who works in fitness, his page is Simon Addison Fitness Training and he does a lot of memes around spin because he does a lot of spin classes and he prides himself on basically having people kind of hobble out of the door in the puddle of their own sweat and he does these you know quite funny pictures to do with that um, just with just like a meme generator on the internet it's not difficult and it's if you've got something specific to your website or to something you're doing or you know that feeling when you step on the lego in the middle of the night or something like that um it's going to be something that people your fans the people that follow you are really going to relate to and they'll really like to see that and they'll probably like it and share it and comment on it too idea number eight for facebook post ideas is a fill in the blanks post um this is something that i've seen a lot i've not really done very much of it but i've seen it and it works really well for a lot of people so um, something like you basically just use your underscore button so if i could be anywhere in right now in the world i would be underscore underscore fill in the blanks um, or I hope that I something something today or I'm grateful for something something today keep it really simple make it so that people only need to do a two two or three word answer if they want to um, it's also less for you to read when the comments come rolling in but kind of post one of those and uh, it's just a way it's, it's a good way of getting people engaged it's a way of finding out more about your audience because you might find that one of them really wishes they could be in Hawaii with their sister who's on her honeymoon or they really wish they could be in wherever with whoever you know you learn more about your audience that way you could you know they might say they're really grateful for something that you didn't even know had happened um and it's a, it's a good way of getting engagement as well obviously and they tend to work really well idea number nine for facebook post ideas is something i would hope everybody's already doing and that's sharing other people's posts and interesting articles things you find on the internet stuff like that so this is where having a blog love in or feedly or something like that can come in really handy because it collates all of those posts and you can go through so if you follow like you know 500 people you're never going to read all of their blog posts but you go through and you see their headlines and you go oh that one looks interesting i'll read it if it is interesting or it's funny or engaging or whatever you can share it on your facebook page um that means that you're the basically so the only links you're not sharing um only links to your blog you're not sharing only links to hard-hitting news stories that nobody really wants to you know have their mood brought down by you're kind of sharing a wide range of stuff within your niche things that you find interesting and engaging or useful um you know links to giveaways competitions stuff that you think your audience is going to like to see and it kind of broadens your spectrum of what you're posting really idea number 10 for facebook post ideas is a, is to post behind the scenes and be imperfect so i know we all and there's that joke that was on you baby me mummy um you know you know you're the child of a blogger when you have to play with the new toy in front of the good wall in the living room we all position our children i may have put up my christmas tree in part because it is easier to take a picture of my child in front of the christmas tree instead of what was you know the massive pile of crap that was where the christmas tree now is it's a nice background so um while you're kind of making these nice montages for your blog post kind of a, a fail like oh you know i was trying to take a picture of my kid doing this and she draw all over her face or i was trying to take a picture of my kid doing that and she threw this at me and you know a fail of it so like something you've dropped on the floor so 